Amanda has been called to a wildlife emergency just a few kilometers from the center. The manager at a local factory has told her there's an animal trapped underground. So he said it was in a tank. One of our guides told us that there's a certain animal ringing around and is threatening their lives. They could even sing it during the evening, during the night, maybe it was searching for food or something of that kind. It has been in that pit for almost three weeks. So we have a monitor lizard that is in this well down here, and he must have just fallen in or got caught in some of the drainage. So we're gonna see if we can get him out. This one is seat. It has gone under. Monitor lizards can grow up to two meters and weigh 20 kilograms. They have strong claws, powerful tails, and sharp teeth. What might help is he's trying to go underneath, but it might just be on the top moving around. So if he was to take the net and sweep it like this, and like this, and like this, then he can have a better chance. I love it when people ask me what is a typical day because you have no typical days. <laughs> a job like this, you're always getting thrown new and different things that you've never experienced before, right? I saw it. Sometimes it's kind of terrifying because you're like, Am I prepared? I'm not sure. <laughs> and, and you don't know until you jump in there. No, that, 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 that one. You have me. Ah. Together, together. Together, together. Ah. 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 You can do it. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Just, just, just. It's okay. What we need to do. Wait, wait. Can you, somebody come hold this here? Somebody come hold this here. And you hold this here. Last thing, give me the blanket. Yep, yep. Watch out. One, two, three. There he goes. Okay, don't let it go. Okay, like that. Okay. There. The cage, the cage, open it up. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, good. Great. Turn it around the other side. Okay. Can we lesson? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. You putting him in? Yeah. Shut the door. All right, cool. The monitor lizard seems none the worse for its ordeal. And Amanda has no doubt who the hero is. And that was amazing. That dude was legendary. That's the guy right there. It was awesome. She wants to get the lizard released back into the wild as soon as possible. So they're taking it to the city's wildlife sanctuary, run by Malawi's Department of National Parks and Wildlife. It's a perfect habitat for this monitor lizard. It was great to see him in great condition and to see that he was vigorous and strong. That meant that we could release him right away. These guys do not eat well in captivity. They don't do well, they're very stressed, and so if we can release them immediately, it's a very big relief. He's got a great home. welcomes any wild animal in need of help. Head of animal care, Tori, never knows what's going to come through the door next. So we've just had a call from reception that someone's come through with a parrot. We don't know anything more about this. Malawi does have a few native species of parrot. They're quite small. They tend to live down south, but there is also a big um, trade in African grey parrots um, and a couple of macaws in the country as well. So. I actually have literally no idea what we're about to find. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. So what have we got? A parrot. A parrot? What, do we know what sort of parrot? I don't know if it's an African gray. I'm not well versed in parrots, but. Hi. Yep. So it's a very cranky African gray parrot. So what's the story? 
Noel here found it at our hotel. At uh, okay. Fulu Gardens in Area 3, so I'm not quite sure. Just, just roaming around? Yeah, just roaming around by the hall. the window. Oh, and you thought, that doesn't look right. Yeah. <laughs> so. Awesome. OK, but what we will do is see if it does have an owner. Yeah. It might just be someone's lost pet, so right. we'll look for something like a leg band. Yeah. Um, and if we can't find anyone, then we actually have an African grey in our collection. So we'll pair them up. You yeah. want to put it inside? I need to put it inside there, yeah. yeah. I just... Uh, be careful. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you really, really don't want to get bit by this bird. Go on, madam. I'm sorry, mate. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I know. What a day you're having. What a day. All right, bud, come on. Let's go check you out. Once again, thank you guys so much for coming in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. African greys are not native to Malawi, but they can be kept as pets with a license. Lulu is an African grey who's been at the center for a year but her new roommate won't be moving in just yet. Hey. Got a new friend. Oh, how yeah. exciting. Is it nice? Uh, it's very unhappy at the moment. The only place we have is where those baubles came from in quarantine. So I'm just going to take it straight out there. But first, this parrot needs a name. Oh, we call it Beans. Beans is fine. Beans is good. Hi, Beans. Let's go, Beans. <laughs> if I say it enough times, it will become true. Every new arrival has to spend time in quarantine to make sure they're free of any infection before they join other animals. The house I want to put this bird in is currently occupied. So Ella's just run up ahead to make a swap. We'll get you a nicer house, bud. I'm sorry, but you're small and this parrot is big. Hello. Come on. You're a good girl. Oh, boy, I'm not really sure. In the wild, these highly intelligent birds eat fruit, leaves and insects. But in captivity, they have a different diet. So the people who brought it in are not its owners. But knowing what I know about what people feed captive parrots, this is highly likely to be what it's used to eating. It's going to probably want to go straight for those seeds because they're little chocolate bars. I'm going to let it come out in its own time. All right, new friend. We'll see you later. The animal care team have discovered that Beans the parrot is a boy, and he's been making himself heard. No one has reported him missing or come forward to claim him, so it looks like Beans will be hanging around for a while. And that means the veterinary team need to take a closer look at him. I really do like you, Beans. I'm sorry. Catching any bird can be a challenge. <gasps> I know. I really am sorry. Are you going to do that, Ari? <laughs> You're going to decide you do actually know how to fly. All right, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Hey, come on then, sweet pea. Let's have a walk in you. I'm really sorry. Oh, wait, you just trying until you saw your face. I'm sorry. It's all right, sweetheart. Parrots can be quite challenging. They're definitely strong characters, uh, and it comes a bit of a battle of wills. I want to examine them. They have different plans. On them. That's step one. You need to hold the head. So you can take the blanket off around his face if you want to breathe a bit better. Feet. <laughs> so he's got a previous broken toe. 
whenever we're examining birds, it's obviously a little bit different to when people examine pets in general practice. You just have slightly different anatomy and you've got wings to contend with, big beaks and, and sharp claws as well. <laughs> So what the checkup today taught us is that overall Beans is in quite decent health. He is a little bit thin, um, but that's something we can easily fix. Uh, he's proven to us he has a stellar appetite, so I'm sure we'll be able to put that weight back on him really soon. He's probably going to sit in here and salt for a little while. He's like, I didn't want to go in, and now I will wait until I want to leave. Could you all ruffled up. Hey Love Nature fans, be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.